Hey everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Listen this. This is an article written by Jim Norton for the Daily Mail published on January 26, 2023. Advanced artificial intelligence could one day kill everyone, and there would be nothing we could do to stop it, MPs have been warned. Experts from Oxford University said, when AI eventually becomes more intelligent than us, it is likely to pose as great a threat as mankind did to the dodo. Reaching this stage, known as superhuman AI, could be achieved by the end of the century, they told the Science and Technology Select Committee. Warning of a literal arms race among nation-states and tech firms, Michael Osborne, professor of machine learning, called for global regulation to stop tech firms creating out-of-control systems that could end up eliminating the whole human race. The evidence was heard as part of a government inquiry into the risks posed by AI and how it can be used in an ethical and responsible way. However, in its first session, doctoral student Michael Cohen gave a stark warning that there were no limits to how far AI could advance. He said, I think the bleak scenario is realistic because AI is attempting to bottle what makes humans special, that has led to humans completely changing the face of the earth. So if we're able to capture that in technology, then, of course, it's going to pose just as much risk to us as we have posed to other species, the dodo is one example. The doomsday predictions have worrying parallels to the plot of science fiction blockbuster The Matrix, in which humanity is beholden to intelligent machines. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Anyway, take a look at this. There are oddities that boggle my mind. When you Google temperature of the planet Mercury at night it shows that the sunny side may reach temperatures of 750 to 800 degrees Fahrenheit, while the nighttime temperature drops to nearly minus 330 degrees Fahrenheit. The average temperature on Mercury is a balmy 354 degrees Fahrenheit. LMAO. Now, how does that work? If Mercury is closest to the Sun, even the dark side of it would be at least 600 degrees Fahrenheit or something, considering that the heat is still moving past the whole planet. Yet somehow it's minus 330 degrees Fahrenheit on Mercury, but our nights on Earth sometimes can be very hot in summer times. Yup, that totally makes sense. In today's information age, we are constantly bombarded with messages, opinions, and data from countless sources. From the news we consume, to the advertisements we see, our minds are constantly being shaped and influenced by external stimuli. While this influx of information can be helpful in many ways, it can also be overwhelming and confusing, making it challenging to discern the objective truth. One of the biggest challenges in seeking the truth is the phenomenon of confirmation bias. This is the tendency to seek out information that confirms our pre-existing beliefs and values, while disregarding or dismissing information that contradicts them. This bias can be so strong that it can prevent us from seeing the truth, even when it is presented to us clearly. The statement, you become what you give your attention to, by Epictetus, emphasizes the powerful impact that our thoughts and focus can have on our lives. 
essentially, what we choose to focus on and give our attention to can shape our identity, beliefs, and ultimately our actions. This concept can be applied to all areas of our lives, from our relationships and career, to our health and well-being. As the saying goes, if you don't control your mind, someone else will. This statement reminds us that our minds are powerful tools that can be used to shape and influence our thoughts, feelings, and actions. If we are not actively directing our thoughts and beliefs, we risk allowing external forces to control them for us. To take control of our minds, we must first become aware of our own biases and prejudices. We must examine our thoughts and beliefs critically and question the information we consume. We must be intentional about seeking out alternative perspectives and actively seeking out information that challenges our preconceived notions. Taking control of our minds also means being mindful of the content we consume and the people we surround ourselves with. Social media feeds, news outlets, and political campaigns can all influence our thoughts and perceptions, so we must be deliberate about what we expose ourselves to. By taking control of our minds, we can become the masters of our own destiny. We can make informed decisions, act in alignment with our values, and live a more fulfilling life. We can also become more resilient to external pressures and less susceptible to the whims of others. In conclusion, seeking the truth is a challenging and ongoing process that requires us to be intentional and mindful about our thoughts, beliefs, and actions. By recognizing our own biases, seeking out alternative perspectives, and taking control of our minds, we can become more confident in our ability to discern the truth and live a more authentic and fulfilling life. However, it is important to recognize the limitations of this approach to truth-seeking. Seeking out only information that confirms our beliefs can lead to a narrow-minded perspective, and it can prevent us from considering alternative perspectives and possibilities. To truly understand a topic or situation, it is important to approach it with an open mind and a willingness to consider evidence that challenges our assumptions. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.